hello everyone, my name is Rick Pasek, the Fly Fish Fanatic, and welcome to my tying bench. Today I'll be tying a steelhead spay pattern. Um, I've used it for salmon as well, done okay with it on with salmon, but this is probably primarily a uh, steelhead pattern. Um, I call it my pink lady. Um, so let's get her started. This takes uh, this one takes a little bit longer than a, like a smaller fly, but there's just more steps to it. So let's get her going. So in the in the vise today, I have a partridge uh, low water, a single low water in a size one. <clears throat> For the thread, I'll be using some uh, pink classic waxed. <coughs> Excuse me. For the body, I will be using the uh, Zemperfly flat braid in cream. And for the rib, I'll be using the new Zemperfly Microfritz gel core. Uh, I'll be using that as a rib. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, I got a bit of a frog in my throat. Then um, for a hackle throat, uh, it's more of a for, for the sparkle and stuff, I'm going to be using some of the Zemperfly Extreme String in pearl. And then for the front hackles, I will be using first off a mallard in pink. And then I'll be, uh, on the front of that, I'll be doing a, uh, a little bit of strung shalapin. Okay, so that's, uh, <clears throat> that is the uh, the extent of the fly. So let's, let's get her going here. So hopefully I don't uh, break the thread too many times today because I've been a little heavy handed lately with the, uh, the uh, classic wax. I've been so used to the nano silk that being able to just crank down on it, that's, <laughs> I've been, uh, yeah, I've been uh, breaking it a bit. So, just gonna go to the front, the, the uh, point of the hook. Just gonna come back, just put down just a bit of a base. <clears throat> and come back again. Gonna take a piece of my microfritz. I'm going to tie that in, just the back end here. I'm just going to go back a little bit further because I want to make a bit of a butt section with that. And then right about there, I'll tie in my body. This is the uh, Zebrafly flat braid in the cream. Stuff is awesome. It's really got a really good uh, spark sparkle to it and it actually holds up really well to, to fish as well um, I've used it for some pike flies and it uh, actually held up to those toothy buggers so so I'm going to stop right about there right where the where the step is here where the connection is <clears throat> nice and tight first wrap you'll have a little bit of a bump back here now I could have tied it in all the way um, right, I could have tied it in all the way uh, forward, and that way you'd have the same size. Just with these longer, bigger flies, you're not really going to see that anyway. And I mean, it's a slight, slight bump at the back. So, I mean, so I'm just going to go right to there, tie it off. You want those touching wraps, right, or overlapping, overlapping wraps, so it completely covers that body nip off your excess Just make sure it's tied down so now I'm gonna do you see how I've got a little bit of space there I'm gonna touching wraps do three or four turns right at the back end here and now I'm gonna use it like a rib right to there tie that off Make sure that's tied down nicely. Nip that off. So I'm just gonna change my light here because I know with that that uh, body material it can get a little it, it gets it can get a little sparkly. <laughs> so um, just gonna just adjust my focus there for you guys. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to take a little bit of the uh, extreme string and I'm just going to tie it in by the tip. I'm going to go right to where where my, where my I'm going to end, 
right there and come back to where I stopped. Just make sure that's tied in nicely. Come back a bit. And I just want a couple, two, three wraps. This is more just for a bit of sparkle in there. That's that's it. It's it's not, nothing else. So that's it. That's all I want. So now I'm going to come back. Get that off. Just make sure she's tied down. That end that I just cut, just make sure it's tied down nice. Now if I wanted to, I can just leave it just like that. Um, or I could to get this one piece there we go I can just leave it just like that because it, it's going to be covered anyway kind of um or i could brush this out and it'll get it gets a bit of a fluffier look i actually like it just like this um it can do it either way though so now i'm just going to come back to there and get myself a piece a nice long mallard plank feather uh, sometimes you'll have to dig around but i've got actually this is a, a bit longer one so this package so it's actually really nice nice package for this so I'm just gonna nip off what I don't want I'm gonna tie this in by the butt just lay this on the side with the shiny side or the more colorful side out just gonna kind of break that stem a bit Grab my hackle plier. Let's separate out my tip there, which is right there. And grab that tip. So now it's just, it depends on how thick you want this. You can do two, three, four, five wraps. It's all depending. I, I tend to do about three to four wraps. Sometimes I'll do a few extras. I'll, I'll have a couple that are a bit more, a bit that are a bit uh, more uh, sparse with with uh, with only a couple of wraps, and I'll have some that are a bit thicker. This one feather doesn't want to cooperate, so I'm just gonna hold that round. It's being a bit of a bugger. Uh, there goes my hackle player comes off. That's okay. Yeah, that one there just doesn't want to cooperate but I'll get it to cooperate eventually just gotta make sure you hold them out of the way that's all right so just hold them out of the way the hackle player keep popping off so this stuff's pretty thin so I'm just gonna do two to three wraps and then when I brush it out, this will all pop. You'll see what I mean in a minute. I'm going to get my hackle plier back in there. Having a tough time with my fat fingers there. So there we go. Just keep all that material stroked back as much as you can. It's going to change anyway once I start, once I brush it. You'll see. So do one more wrap here. There we go. Just leave myself enough room for the little bit of shellopping at the front there. I only want to have a couple of turns of the shellopping. So nip off that excess. Make sure that's tied down nicely. Then I take my brush and I'll just brush that, brush that out a bit. Just making sure all those fibers are separated. Now, sometimes what I'll do, let's see if I did it on this one. Yeah, I did. You can see on this one here, this one I did prior to that. You see I put a dubbing ball right there, right behind it. That'll help hold it out even more. So sometimes I'll do it like this, and it'll be a bit more streamlined. Sometimes I'll do it with a dubbing ball that'll help it be breathe more, right? So it, it depends what you're, what you're going after. <clears throat> Again, I'll have both in my box so now I'm just gonna grab a piece of flop in here this is the barred schloppen that I'm using 
I'm just going to find a decent sized feather. I don't want one that's too big. I just want to create a little bit of a collar up the front here. That one should be okay. Or that one. Let's go with that one. I like to have that bit of that barred. The black and the pink in there. So, so there's my feather. I'm going to pick my length roughly. About there. Like I said, I only want two or three turns of this, so Get that off, tie it in again by the butt. Nip off your excess there. Again, get that stem kind of broken or cracked. So it just makes it easier for, for when you're doing your hackle here my pliers and I'm just going to do two to three wraps right close to that I want it practically on top of that last set there right there one actually I don't like how that went no that popped off too tight let's come back so I don't build up too much bulk on the head come back a little bit and then tie that in again It happens sometimes. I also want to make sure your feather when you're tying it in is actually facing the right way. Make sure it's facing out the color. I'm going to fold that stem back and tie that in. Just because the stem got thinner now, so I want to make sure that it's in there. So grab that with my hackle pliers again. Nice and tight up against that last wrap. One, let's do two, let's do one more, three, yep. Lock that off, doesn't look great right now, it will in a second. Make sure that's all locked off, grab my center stem there, the tip, nip that off. Now I'm just going to build up ahead, but I'm going to push back just a little bit because I want this schloppen to lay back onto the last layer. There we go. So that should help. All right. Just give it a bit of a brush out. And I'm just going to give myself a whip finish. One. I always do two sets of my salmon and steelhead flies. Don't know why, but I just do. It's just gotten, it's become a habit. I do it with a, quite a few flies actually, with all my leeches and stuff as well. And then all I need to do is put a little bit of head cement on there. But now I'm just going to brush this all out backwards. And then just stroke it back a little bit with the brush. And that is it. That's my pink lady. Like I said, it's a, a very, very uh, a successful steelhead pattern for me. I've done very well with it. Um, in many rivers, the Squamish in BC, the, the, the Vetter, uh, a few other places, the Gold on, on the island. I've uh, done very well with it. Um, just got some, some sparkle to it. It's got some movement to it. And like I said, if you want, you can build up a bit of a... Take that one out. Take, put that one in there for you guys so you can see. Build up a bit of a... A dubbing ball right in behind there right and that'll help hold it out a bit more so it's up to you which way you want to do it this is a slightly longer one this one here that we just tied is slightly longer than this one uh, and this is a, a heavier gauge wire um, partridge as well um, but um, as you can see this one here when I put the shallopin on was more pink and this one's more more barred right it's dark you got a little bit of that dark to it but uh, yeah, it's it's a it's a kind of a scruffy pattern. Um, but like I said, when this thing is in the water, it really likes it really likes to pulsate, right? Um, this one here, because of the lack of the uh, the dubbing ball, this one will lay down more and look more. It will still pulsate, but not quite as much as this one will. So it all depends on what you want. Like I said, I have both in mine. Um, I even have uh, ones with. Um, 
I don't have my fly box here, but I'll, I'll take some of the, the guinea in, in the pink and I'll put a bit of a, let's see if I can show you just roughly, I'll put a bit of a pink guinea tail in there that's facing up, right? So I'll have it, right, facing up like that, a little tail. So it, it all depends. So just, uh, just make sure you've got uh, several different uh, patterns in your box if you're going after steelhead. Um, I also do tie this with a little bit of underbody weight sometimes. I'll put a little bit of underbody weight, uh, just uh, some of the sticky back flat lead. Um, let's just see here. Yeah, this I know Zemperfly just came out with the sticky back sheets here. All right? So, um, yeah, there you go. Adhesive flat lead foil sheets. They just came out with these like just a, a couple of weeks ago. Um, and there's a few, I mean, there's others out there as well, but uh, yeah, they, they, it, that, sometimes I'll do that. That way it doesn't build up the body too much. It just gives a gives it the weight, but it doesn't build the body too big. I don't like having heavy bodies on these, so. Alrighty, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, give her a thumbs up. If you've uh, subscribed, thank you very much. If you have not, please do consider doing so. And when we hit a thousand subscribers, I'll be giving away a selection of the flies that I've tied here, as well as a copy of both the books that I wrote, this one and this one. Oh, sorry, that one's upside down. This one here and this one here. And uh, yeah, uh, we'll be doing that once we hit a thousand. I think we're at like 925 or something like that right now. So it's not gonna take too long. Alrighty, bye everyone.